Brian. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you, come about, when you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 22, NASDAQ up 11, S&P's up three and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down $12.60 at 2,449 an ounce. We have silver down 18 cents, $32.24 30, an ounce. Copper up two and a half pennies, 5.10 a pound. Light sweet crude down 54 cents, $79.26 a barrel notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Up three ticks, 109.06, 30-year up eight at 117.10 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up, uh, bingo. 104 ticks, 104.699, Euro 108, Yen 156, British Pound at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the VIX, we're going to start here. This, gets, this is kind of intriguing here. Let's take a look at this. So I'm going to take the VIX. This is a volatility index, okay? And so we're trading 1207 right now, okay? Now check this out, though. This is, like, really wild, man. I'm going to put this back 30 years, okay? Because we're at the point <laughs> when you see this that... It's pretty amazing. So if we go all the way back to, I'll pull this up here. Watch this. Okay. So the last low that was established inside the VIX was 11.81, and that was in December. Well, we're 12.7, right? The one prior to that gets down even lower, 8.56, but that's bringing you all the way back to 2017. So we're at a level right now. Okay, so let me do this. I'll since we know where that is, let me, I'll just put it on five years. Because you can see, when you put this on five years, we're definitely at the bottom of the range. You know, so what does that mean? Well, we'll find out <laughs> when NVIDIA comes out tomorrow. Because NVIDIA right now is calculating a 9% move up or down. And that will move the NDX one, I think it will move the whole market, actually. You know, that, that's how it's going to shake out. Because what, what does end up happening is if you move the SMHs, the SMHs move the NDX, the NDX moves the whole market, you know. So when NVIDIA does come out tomorrow after the close, there is going to be some action here. Now, what has happened with NVIDIA, it has not tested its high yet. I'd love to see this test the high to release that information, you know. Can, does it have the juice? Does it not have the juice? What do, we, what do we have? But that high hasn't been tested yet. That high is uh, 974. And the way that, hey, we'll find out. You know, you can get a spike and then you can give it up in spade, spades. What I thought was kind of intriguing is that, let's see if I can find this, is that Amazon, uh, yeah, here it is right here. Now, they halted orders. But they only halted orders because NVIDIA is coming out, uh, has already come out with the new chip. Amazon's already ordering the new chip, but this is be in their backlog. Um, so AWS tells the Financial Times that it has fully transitioned its previous orders for NVIDIA's Grace Hopper chip with orders for success of Grace Blackwell chip. The Blackwell chip, folks, is supposed to be, well, is going to be twice as powerful as the Grace Hopper chip. And these chips run twenty to thirty thousand bucks a piece. So we'll see if in fact 
other companies did the same thing. Now, that would be the bearish occurrence on a short-term basis because it's like, okay, you don't, I, don't, I suspect you're not paying for them until you get them delivered. You're in line, okay? And they do have a huge backlog. There's no two ways about that. Their backlog is huge. So that is going to move markets. No two ways about it. When we take a look at the broad market, as I said on the update, the update, man, this is, this is anemic volume, man. But guess what? The longer you stay at highs, the higher you can go. And we've been here for five days now. So what we are going to get out here tomorrow is at 2 o'clock, you're going to get the minutes from the last meeting. And then, of course, we're going to get NVIDIA. And, you know, the SMHs, let's go this way. Let me look at the SMHs for a second. Because I can't get anything out of NVIDIA except that it's a high volume high that wants to be tested. <laughs> oh, and the SMHs do, too. Interesting. See, it came off the high and it has a high volume high. Let me put this on a weekly and see if it's the same thing. Yeah, it is. Yep, the same thing on the weekly. If we look at the SMHs, you can see the higher that we're going, the more contraction that's happening. Oh, this is interesting. So this just did release some information here. Look at this. This SMH, that's when we came down. You came down with volume here, man. That's, that released some information right there. So the SMHs look to me like it wants to go to 198. This is a normal consolidation. That's what we got. Let's, let's look inside here. Let's just see what kind of, let's see, what the percentage is. Okay, so in the SMHs, it's 20.64% NVIDIA. It's a big number. SMH, you get uh, Taiwan Semi is the other one, 12.8, but NVIDIA is the biggest one, period. So we'll see how that baby's going to shake out. Uh, silver. We're going to take a look at the silver market out here. This continues to, you know, have some real traction, man. Volatile, yes. Um, traction, yes. 105,000 contracts out here today. You're down 18 cents. You, we did 160,000 contracts yesterday. They'll probably do about buck 20. That's saying it wants higher price. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 54. Nasdaq's up 23. S&Ps are up 8.5. Stay right there, folks. Get our man, Mr. Tim Ward, coming up next.